There are so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things and never accomplish anything. The world is filled with talented people and they never accomplish anything. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. You know, some kind of a, a vision of what they want to do. But they don't know where to start. They don't know where to start it, you know? They don't know where to start. Where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? And I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. Because the idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. You want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut. And go find your discipline. And find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, and then you will find your freedom. It is not death most people are afraid of. It is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly lived. There was a study done, a hospital study, on 100 elderly people facing death close to their last breath. They were asked to reflect about their life's biggest regret. Nearly all of them said they regretted not the things they did, but the things they didn't do, the risks they never took, the dreams they didn't pursue. I ask you, will your last words be, if only I hit, hey, you, wake up. Why do you exist? Life is not meant to simply work, wait for the weekend and pay rent. No, no, I don't know much, but I know this. Every person on this earth has a gift. They don't choose dreams, dreams choose them. So the question I'm getting to is, do you have the courage to grab the dream that picked you, that befits you and grips you? Or will you let it get away and slip through? You know, I learned a fact about airplanes the other day. Now this was, this was so surprising, see? I was talking to a pilot and he told me that many of his passengers think planes are dangerous to fly in. But he said, actually, it is a lot more dangerous for a plane to stay on the ground. <laughs> I said, what? Like, how does that sound? Well, he said, he said, because on the ground, the plane starts to rust, malfunction and wear much faster than it ever would if it was in the air. As I walked away, I thought, yeah, makes total sense because planes were built to live in the skies and every person was built to live out the dream they have inside. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life on the ground without ever taking off. See, most of us are afraid of the thief that comes in the night to steal all of our things. But there is a thief in your mind who is after your dreams. His name is Doubt. 
If you see him, call the cops and keep him away from the kids. Cause he is wanted for murder, for he has killed more dreams than failure ever did. He wears many disguises and like a virus will leave you blinded, divided and turn you into a kinda. See, kinda is lethal. You know what kinda is, it's a lot of kinda people. You kinda want a career change, you kinda want to get straight A's, you kinda want to get in shape. Simple math, no numbers to crunch. If you kinda want something, then you will kinda get the results you want. What is your dream? What ignites that spark? You can't kinda want that. You gotta want it with every part of your whole heart. Will you struggle? Yeah, yeah, you will struggle, no way around it. You will fall many times, but who's counting? Just remember, there's no such thing as a smooth mountain. If you wanna make it to the top, then there are sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There will be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over, but let me tell you something. Steven Spielberg was rejected from film school three times. Three times, but he kept going. The television execs fired Oprah, said she wasn't fit for TV, but she kept going. Critics told Beyonce that she couldn't sing. She went through depression, but she kept going. Struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe and no one escapes it. Because pain is life, but you can choose what type. Either the pain on the road to success, or the pain of being haunted with regret. You want my advice? Don't think twice. We have been given a gift that we call life, so don't blow it. You were not defined by your past. Instead, you were born anew in each moment, so own it now. Sometimes you gotta leap and grow your wings on the way down. You better get the shot off before the clock runs out, cause ain't no overtime in life, no do-over. And I know I sound like I'm preaching or speaking with force, but if you don't use your gift, then you sell not only yourself, but the whole world, short. So what invention do you have buried in your mind? What idea, what cure, what skill do you have inside to bring out to this universe? Uni meaning one, verse meaning song. You have a part to play in this song. So grab that microphone and be brave. Sing your heart out on life stage. You cannot go back and make a brand new beginning, but you can start now and make a brand new ending.